Good morning students and welcome to week two of Preparation Skills for University. You're probably just at the point now where you're starting to feel comfortable with where you're at. You've achieved week one, now you're heading into week two. So you're just starting to feel like, yes, I think I'm on track. So firstly, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Trixie James and I'm one of the on-campus lecturers on the Bundaberg campus of CQU. And this week I'm just going to do a little brief overview talking about what we're going to cover and some of the key elements you need to keep in mind for this week. So this week it's all around this practical tips for effective learning. Really, you could just about say this is probably one of the most important elements of being a successful student because if you don't get this right part, this part right, it possibly could unravel you for the rest of your journey. So really take note of some of the strategies that we suggest to you in this particular uh, module. So what we're going to look at is a model called CREAM. It's, it's really, it's a general principle which helps you to understand your own mat, um, attitudes, your own motivation towards study and it gives you some really practical tips to help you to ensure that you are on the right track. So we use the cream analogy, C-R-E-A-M, cream, and it's around learning that it's okay to be creative in the way that you study. There's no right nor wrong way to study. So be unique, try different things. Don't be afraid to try something new. The second part that's very important is about being a reflective learner. So reflecting on what you've learned, but also reflecting on yourself and how you're growing. The third part is about being an effective learner. You want to use your time wisely. We always say we want you to be a savvy student. You want to learn how to um, how to be effective, what, what things to do to make this journey so much easier for yourself. We're going to teach you about being an active learner. So active note taking, active listening, active participation. Even as an online student, you can still be very active in the way that you approach your studies. And finally, what is it that's motivating you to be here? We're going to look at how you can motivate yourself as well. So some of the key things that you really need to be thinking about this, um, this week is number one, the first quiz is due. So that's due at the end of week two. Now you'll see on the left hand side of the Moodle block that there's this special assessment block. Now we have a practice quiz there and we'd love you to go in and just play with it, have a try. Um, it's The questions are nonsensical, they're just fun light-hearted questions. What we want to encourage you to do is to open it up and have a try. Even search at the same time. So search for your answers and then respond. The whole idea is to get you comfortable with, with being able to use this quiz format and get yourself right through to the end so that you have submitted it and it's right to go. Now once you're comfortable with that, the next step is to actually do quiz one. Now this quiz is worth 10%. Um, you have 20 questions in there. It's an open book quiz, which means you can have your study guide out beside you. You can have different tabs open so that you can search the My, um, CQ page or um, any other pages that might be relevant or through the internet. So it's an open book exam. Search for the answers. You have up to two hours. You won't need that, but you have up to two hours. Now, when you get to the end, make sure that you confirmed that you've double clicked it so it's submitted correctly and then when you see your responses and whether you got them right or wrong make sure you take note if you did get them wrong um, because you can't go back in and have a look so just note down those little ones that you may have got wrong so that's due at the end of this week. Now the next one you've got to be thinking about is Learning Portfolio A. And again, you'll find this on Moodle if you click on Learning Portfolio A. Utilize the videos that are, that are there. Jenny explains it beautifully for you so that you understand what it is you're going to be doing. So have a look at the video. Um, download this task description because that explains it each of the questions in a little bit more depth and then you'll need to download this learning portfolio a template download that and then start putting your responses into there 
Remember, if you have any um, queries, any concerns, if you're just not quite sure about something, contact your support lecturer. You will have got an email from them. They're the person to go to and to ask questions. Right, there we go. Now, in regards to lectures, on the Tuesday from 9 to 10, we run on-campus lectures. And we're actually able to invite you as online students to come and join us as well. So there is a Zoom link and you will find that on Moodle. Now, this is a trial and error at the moment. This is the first time we've done it. and. We never know if it's going to go according to plan. So, you know, be ready that there might be a hiccup, but give it a go. If, you've, if you're free from 9 to 10 on a Tuesday, come and join us. Feel as though you're a part of this bigger community. There's also some Zoom workshops offered throughout the week for online students. So have a look at them. There's a range of times offered. And if you're interested, just go and join in. It's a great way of connecting, of asking questions, of being informed about what you're doing. Now don't forget about the forums. Each week we'll put up some a forum. It'll have some questions that you can respond to. And again, you know, pop in and say something around it, but also go in and communicate with others, share, ref, reply to them, uh, and just build that online community up. I want to draw your attention to the second one, which is the hero's journey. And you will find a video link on Moodle um, around the hero's journey. Now this is actually my story around education from when I started through to where I am now and we use the hero's journey paradigm sort of as a guide to show you how much my life changed from that early stage through to where I am now. And so have a, have a watch of it and then if you'd like to share some of your thoughts go into the hero's journey forum because I will be responding on that and, and talking to you about it. Now, the final thing is setting yourself up for success. Now, um, Helen's gone in and created these amazing yoga and meditation videos at the end of the week. And, you know, it, it's something that we, we want to encourage you to be mindful. And for some people, if you're highly stressed and you really feel that your mind's going 100 miles an hour, this might be something that you could step up and do. It's free, it just sits there, it's optional, you don't have to do it. But if you feel like as though that could help you, then definitely go in, it's under each week's module block and do it. So people, that's it from me. It is going to be an amazing week. There's plenty to learn, lots of strategies. And I really believe that if you can start to identify who you are as a student and the things that work for you and then put them in place, you are setting yourself up for success on this journey. So have a great week too and I look forward to seeing you in the future. Bye.